Listen, man, last episode, <laughs> there was a little confusion, you know what I'm saying? And the incident was on your ass, bro, about the whole Jersey situation. But like my read on it, so listen, I'm gonna let you clear the air, but like my read on it sitting here in this chair was like, it wasn't like a shot at Jokic. It wasn't a shot at, you know what I mean? Nobody. It, to me, what you were saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, to me what you were saying was like, yo, they sh like what I did over there, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I did a lot, of, I accomplished a lot out there. You know what I'm saying? Playoffs every year, perennial, you know what I'm okay. saying, out there. Before that, it wasn't really going down like that. So when I leave, just take the number 15 out of the rotation. You know what I'm saying? Like people come in, you know what I'm saying? Don't just be giving, you know what I mean? That's what I thought. Okay. You know what I mean? That's, that was my take on it. Apparently, a lot of fuckers thought different because you could bleep that because, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is the first 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people were saying, like, yo, he's bugging. Anthony Randolph wore the number before. Even, yo, even our bro Stephen A. Smith was like, Carmelo. I ain't see that. <laughs> he's like, I love you, but you're bugging. Like essentially is what he said, but you know what I mean? But like, yeah, hey, you put him on. Put him nah, on what you was really was nah. trying to say. I saw some of the comments, though. You know what I, mean? I, I saw some of the comments. I just think we like we in a time where you can't you can't say nothing. Like if like if people think that it's a shot or negative, they jump on you. Part the left. So <laughs> the situation, what I was explaining was in Denver during that time. But one, I didn't actually leave. It was just a circumstance, right? And well, let me back up. Everybody has something to say about oh. me for 20 years. I've never spoken on anything. No situations that I've ever been in. No feelings, no nothing. I, whatever it was, I stood tall and I kept it going. So now that... I got my own, I can speak on these things and not negatively. Like I'm speaking on some, just an experience at a point in time in my career yeah. because the question was <laughs> provided to me. <clears throat> and I'm speaking on the way organizations treat players when they leave, despite what they ever did for that organization, right? So it's more of a, it's, it's you tight, you, you sick, like you, I mean, fuck him. Like, all right, it's, 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 they may not say fuck him. I'm sure some people may this, might have said that. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. But I read all the that's the mentality of like, fuck him. We, we, he wanted to leave. Oh, word? Ah, you want to bounce? Right. right. So my, it, my shit wasn't against Jokic. I don't even know why they asking Jokic, hey, what do you think about Melo? I don't know. Why is it against Jokic? They have nothing to do with Jokic. That was four or five years later. I was making a point of organization, organizationally. That organization didn't handle it well when it came to the number. And I'm standing on that because if you handle that well, Anthony Randolph don't get the 15. That part. He don't get the 15. If, if you're handling that situation well. Yeah. If it's like, all right, he wanted to get out of here, boom, boom, boom. Fuck him. Here, Anthony Randolph. I don't even know why I'm, you know, I don't like saying names and shit, yeah, but yeah. here. I mean, it just happened to be him. It just happened I mean? to be him. It could have been Tony Snell, whoever. Right, you know so I mean? you got to like, think, it was a lockout when I left. So I played that half of the season, end of the season, then it was a lockout. So mind you, I don't know, <clears throat> I don't know what's happening in Denver. There's nothing happening in Denver. Yeah. I leave, there's nothing happening as far as in the NBA because it's a lockout. So next time I see it, mind you, I'm, I'm on seven now, <clears throat> right? I'm on number seven. So I ain't really thinking about yeah. what's happening in Denver and I'm moving on. I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm wearing number seven now, playing for the Knicks. So because of that, I see it against Anthony Randolph. And I'm like, oh, wow. Like, Wow. Word? Like, yeah. Word? <laughs> that's, Word? How you, that's how you, that's how you oh, feel? Oh, shit. Or rip. Like, I'm, I just, it's right. Been, right. So, just to stay on topic, like, it wasn't about Jokic. Jokic came later. I was just saying the organization had an opportunity to say, ha, 
Hold up. He might come back. He might. You know what I mean? He never like. You never know. You don't know. I never burned no bridges there. So why would you burn the bridge there? You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So to me, it was just more like. Here, like, oh, take 15. Like, here, all right, take 15. Like, so and again, I'm speaking on, I'm speaking on that point of time in my yeah. life, in my career. I'm not speaking on it from this perspective. This perspective, I could give a fuck about. I'm saying that perspective at that point in time right. was wow. Because you active, you a play, you just came out of there. Yeah, you, like, you damn, like, it wasn't no. You was, you know what I mean? I was like, I was fucked up to leave. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So no to everybody that thinks that I'm bitter and, and, and no, I'm at peace. But now I get a chance to speak on things that y'all were speaking on for me for 21 years. That's the, what I was about you to say. You get what I'm saying? So now I'm going to speak my truth. I only going to speak on things that I've been through, things that I experienced, things that I've seen, not right. what I've heard, things that I've seen. And that's it. So if you don't like that, then y'all don't like that. Like I, ain't say, I didn't say nothing disrespectful. I didn't say anything nah. off the line. I didn't say anything. I said Jokic may, he probably didn't know what was going on right. at that time. Again, he was a 40 something pick. So they, yes, he probably, well, he wore 15. It wasn't probably because of me. He probably wore 15. That's his number. He said it was because it was the in, biggest jersey. You know how when you go in like the right, gym? one through 15? <laughs> <laughs> and 15 is the floor. So what XL. I'm saying is that, that you know, because he wore 15, y'all drafted him just off of, oh, he can, we don't know. We don't know. Upside. So you just, again, that makes, that makes me stand on what I'm saying even, even more. more. Yeah. You gave somebody who's a 41st pick. Like, After you done already gave it to somebody, so that tells me, 15 is no longer connected with Melo at that at point. All. It's, like After Randolph and then... Oh, now we're going to give it to the 41st the pick. The Serbian dude, the 41st Right, and this is pick. not nothing against him being the 41st pick. It's just the mentality of the organization right. at that point in time. Come on, they got to see that, man. That's all. They want me to, they want me to so, elaborate. Uh, yo, you made a great point, though, because now we're getting it straight from the source. Before, it was like, yo, Before interview, it was the, media said, it was everybody. It was he Steven forced A's, his way it out. Was the reporters, it was this. Uh, Yo, I spoke to and somebody never close heard to Melo. Melo said this or Melo said that. It was always sources, sources. around, right? So people around the people cut right. Melo's camp. Right. <laughs> so that's camp. it on the Denver shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, man. I'm Come done with on, this. Man. I'm done with that shit. That's <laughs> that's a part. You asked me the question the other day. You you proposed that question and I answered it. Yeah. People got in the uproar because in sports people love to compare. If that's that's what it is, but you want to compare. You can't, I mean, what I did is what I did. Yeah. I, I stand on what I did. I ain't got nothing to do with what Jokic is doing. The real fans Jokic, know. I don't have nothing to do with what he's doing. That's, he's doing what he's doing. He's so saying. stop, please stop. <laughs> fucking compare. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even play the same position, man. You know what I'm saying? Come we on. ain't even like, come totally on, Totally different man. game, yeah, man. Like, Everything is different, man. Come on, stop Everybody it. want me to be so negative and controversial, but it ain't, it's not that. Like, right. I'm, this show is about big enough culture, sports, you know what I 100%. mean? Respect, giving flowers. You know what I mean? But also keeping it a buck. Okay, that part. From and, my perspective. And that's what I'm trying to tell it. motherfuckers. It's like, bro, it. hey, uh, Samuel L. said it. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all can't handle the truth. You know what I mean? And then you get in your bag. But the real ones, yeah. no. But you only going to hear me speak on things that I've been through. Right. Things no that I've been through. That's it. No, no things that I've been through. We're taking a brief break from today's episode to let you know that Prize Picks got you covered when it comes to helping you make some bread. That's right. You know what I mean? The NFL playoffs is here now, and the NBA season is in full swing. You know what I mean? Prize Picks is helping us cash in. Because Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app where you can select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and turn $25 into $250. You know what I mean? Hmm. And the best part about it is Prize Picks is real simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds, B. Prize Picks allows you to pick combo projections across football and basketball with specials. So you can support all your teams while still cashing in. You know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. I got a couple projections in mind already. You know what I'm saying? Me a lot too. of them include Lamar Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to visit prizepicks.com slash 7pm and use promo code 7pm for a deposit match up to $100. 